Uh, another good test room. That died. Uh, big guy died right away. You died. Mm, pretty easy. Oh, I don't know if I can catch that guy in all the magma. I could probably hit him fast enough, but... Oh yeah, that's no problem. He's dead. I think we can still do so much better. I've traded my hand laser guy in for my curse fairy again because we're gonna do some blessings. Because we're gonna bring with this altar in a bottle. Imagine if we find a few of those, all the altars we can get. And I realize I'm missing an item somehow. It must be something new because I have everything else. So let's make a big mess of this. And uh, cool. Increase potion duration. But I found the missing item. Explorer's boots. Gain a speed boost when out of danger. Only $450. I very much like that. Why do you have a note on the side of your bed? I didn't write you anything. So I can toggle them on and off, but I move this fast, and I really like that because I'm impatient. Our very first altar, we're gonna take swing speed. Then while we're at it, we're gonna spawn another altar and get hopefully something also good. Or we'll just go ahead and remove our curse with that. I don't want to stack any blessings I don't need. Because I have also unlocked a potion that can double one of my blessings, and the less blessings I have, the more chance of it doubling one of the good ones. Our first relic is a really good one. Overstock's a shop. The shop is actually where I'm more likely to get more relics from. Come on, idiot stack, I don't have time for you. Thank you. At this point, I'm looking for relics that boost attack damage, attack speed, or give me more altars. Just like, well, that gives me damage. Higher chance to critical strike. And this shop's gonna have lots of relics for me every single floor, except this one, of course. Might be able to get a free blessing out of this guy if I get a few more hits. No, come back. Don't run away yet. I need you. Yeah, got him. Oh, what does this one do? Reduce this shop of cost items. I don't actually want that. Uh, next time I murder you, can you give me something worthwhile, please? Our next relic is lightning bomb. Not really helpful for anything I'm doing, but makes my bombs better. And the shop has at least one relic for me so far. I'll take one relic. We're gonna transmute that into something better, obviously. Before I transmute things, let's get a curse that we can remove at the shop. Like the new one, increased critical strike damage. I like that one a lot. Imagine stacking like a hundred of those, the critical hits would be huge. All right, we'll get rid of that. Gonna pick up this for now, average a level of all blessings. Might use that later, might not. We'll see how that goes. Now the curse removal, uh, we're gonna sacrifice a little bit more health to hopefully get something good. What does this one do? Heal when you pray at an altar. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I'm going to be doing a lot of that. The shop is in the first room on this floor, so I like that. What I don't like are the relics they have for sale. I mean, my potions will be basically everlasting, but I don't ever really use those anyways. I am going to open this because it's going to give me a whole bunch of keys. Keys might turn into damage later. I don't know. What is this? Shop costs are converted to health. Nope, that's not happening. Our next relic, increase health. Not really finding a lot that are good for my altars yet, but we'll get there eventually. Boss fight time. This won't be hard. You'll see me in a moment. And we're done. Not really sure how we're managing to stack so many bombs. Already got 22. Shrine room right away. Again, nothing really, really good here. So I'm just going to remove it. Two relics at the shop. I don't like either of them, but we can transmute them into something better. Let me rephrase that. We can try to transmute them into something better. Wing boots and those. Nope, one more time. Here's one. Right twice at altars. Yes. Plus this potion. Spawn an altar. Well, we're going to go ahead and do just that. Let's go with more attack speed. And removing of curse. I really need my little fairy to level up. Anyways, something better. Tent. Okay, we're going to blow it up then. I don't even care about a tent. Should have kept that though. And this one. Sometimes drop a new key when using an old key. I won't say no to that. Next on our list. Return projectiles with an attack. That's a new curse, but look at all the bombs we're getting. Create a circle of healing, why not? Dark cloud disables two blessings. That's gonna be removed. This room doesn't look like a lot of fun. We got two knights. There was another crossbow man, but he died. Uh, maybe if I just light him on fire, I can leave him alone. Come on, blessing. What do we got? Mm, just keys. Well, I need keys anyway. Our next relic deal even more damage when you critical strike. This might be a critical strike type run. And three relics at the shop were picking up speed. Right, I don't want any of these. I might want some of these. In particular, restores all missing health, what should be my favorite potion. When healed, heal again, don't want that. This one maybe blocks the next few curses. Yeah, I'm gonna not take that one. That's kind of a temporary boost. I want long-term effects. And I don't really like any of these, so I'm maybe just gonna do this uh, one more time and hope for the best. What three relics did we get? All right, I'll take them. Considering transmute an item by hitting it, so I can take this and hit the one to the left and hopefully that turns into something good. Nope, but whatever. I did find an altar in a secret room in behind, so, you know, more attack speed. And increased chance to critical strike. Doing lots of critical hits right now. Not doing a lot of damage overall, but we'll get there. Another altar, which means more attack speed. And more attack speed. We'll just stack some curses for now. We'll figure out a way to get rid of those eventually. Plus, we can now use altars three times. Was wondering when this Morn was gonna show up. Give me something good, please. I do kind of like transmute bombs. 
For three major curses though, summon lightning when the pickaxe is caught. That sounds fun, tried it before, didn't like it. This though, yes please. Probably gonna have to get rid of some of these curses soon because these are gonna be difficult to deal with. Luckily I do get my three uses per altar, so that could be three curses per altar. Okay, I've gotta go kill that guy. I was just gonna say, I'm disappointed by the bat bomb, but I forgot I can change that into something better now. The sky's the limit. Increase swing damage, yeah, I'll take that for now. Now as long as the shops continue to provide me with relics, we'll be in really good shape by the time we're done all these dungeons. Ooh, that's a good potion for me. Kind of forgot I had the curse where I drink potions right away, so I just wasted that potion and otherwise would have been hugely helpful. But here's the shrine, so... Oh, we're gonna take swing speed when we see it, but we are gonna get rid of a few curses. There's more swing speed. Do we take more curses? This is gonna get dangerous fast. What dungeon are we on three? Uh, we'll take swing speed. It's here. Why not? Now we can get rid of one. No problem. All right, so if I sacrifice 150 health, I can get rid of another one. Keep forgetting I have that. Uh, okay, we'll get some healing. And we'll sacrifice two keys because another shrine. This will get rid of some more curses unless there's attack speed. You know what? We'll get rid of curses for now because we can get rid of a bunch. Later on, we get double blessings anyway, so it'll be more worth it later on. This is going to take up a hundred of my precious health. That's okay. We'll go back to the shop and find some healing or use one of my potions. We will have to probably... We're full on potions, so we'll drink one for now, then we'll drink the other one. Actually, we'll just go like this. Oh yeah, we lost the curse anyway. We're good. Our next relic, Ghastly Hands will attack the enemy. Interesting, but not really what I'm after. Do I want that? That's going to combine with my attack speed. Is that going to be better or worse? That might actually make it worse. I'm kind of concerned about that. You know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully that didn't actually reduce my attack speed in any way. Nope, it's better than ever. Oh, and we can attack while moving now. That's actually really nice. Plus that extra damage doesn't hurt. Two quick swings, most of them are critical hits and the damage is going ever higher. Found another shrine, but my health is very low right now. I've got to go to the shop before I can deal with that. I'm um, liking this shop. Despite the fact there's no relics, we can get rid of a few curses right away and spawn another altar right here. We're actually going to spawn that in the other room with the other altar. But we're also going to be careful how we do this. I'm going to sacrifice this potion now so I can use this altar adequately. So we're going to remove a curse because there's nothing there. And probably the same thing again because there wasn't really anything there I liked. And then we'll take some attack speed. Removing one of those curses should have added my options back to the shop. So I should have two items sitting here. Nope, they don't spawn in. That's all right. Because we'll just go like this and stack some more whatever. Increased chance to critical strike. Times two. And attack speed. We're going to be doing very quick critical hits. And there's somehow still another shrine on this floor. Very uncommon to have this many, but I won't complain. Increased chance to critical strike. Uh, we'll maybe get rid of one of these. No, we'll wait. We'll find a potion for five. I'm pretty sure of that. But we'll get rid of one for now. The only one of these that even really affects me right now is receiving more damage, and I never get hit by anything. This guy shouldn't be too hard given my, you know, quick critical hits. I could break those balls extra fast. He should be dead in no time. Same with these things. That was almost in real time. That died in no time at all. Give me the gold. Moving on. The enemies in this dungeon are dying very quickly as well. I need relics and curse removals. Not really getting anything. I'm going to turn change that into something better for sure. Experience gain for a familiar would have been good a while ago, but it's already level three basically. So one more try and we'll take what we get, I guess. There we go. Choose between relics. One of my favorites plus a full heal potion. We're in good shape. Here's an interesting addition. Increase critical strike chance for each carried curse. We're going to have like 100% critical chance and a lot of damage. The curses currently are adding 8% critical strike chance. That's huge. So for now, we'll just add some more. More curses, more critical critical strike chance. It's gonna be dangerous, but I think it's gonna be worth it. That's my follower just hit level three, so double blessings now. Extra, extra everything. Our attack speed, quick. Plus we're up to an extra 11% critical strike chance, so yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of critical hits. I don't know what my chance overall is, but I know it's high. Our next relic is gonna be Ricochet. That's gonna come in handy because if I can just throw it and get lots of critical hits, that just makes it easier for me. I'm taking a lot of damage because I'm being lazy. Nothing really worthwhile here. Whoops, so I'm just gonna take the healing. What does that even do? Temporarily increase critical chance. I'll use that against the next boss. So most things are still dying pretty quick. I'm not one-shotting them like I like to be, so we need to find a way to add more damage. This room is interesting. Honestly, Kurt stash right here is going to add two curses but you know that's going to remove a lot of curses down the road too at least i hope it's going to i just need to find 10 curses that shouldn't be too hard to do do we take more curses now increase critical strike damage yeah i don't seem to be finding that one a lot so i'm going to take it when i do find it i'm going to stop stacking speed for now because i'm not really sure if it's making a difference right now a keyblade or something like that would be fun something just to get my damage a little bit higher not exactly what i had in mind luckily for me i can pick new ones still nothing good i think this is the final time i can there we go keyblade not 
taken out a ton of damage yet, but it'll get there eventually. Or bombs for a relic. Enemies drop gold when killed. If it was a better relic, I absolutely would do that. I won't lie to you, the shops so far have been less than stellar. Let's just hope we can transform that into something useful. What does this one do? Destroy empty chests for items? Nope. I just broke the relic by going too much with it, but that's fine because I didn't want any of those anyways. This one's a bit of a tough choice, either health and damage or increased throw speed. I want the increased throw speed with it. With ricochet, we'll just be clearing out rooms extra fast. I really just want that one because I'm impatient. I just want to be able to walk through a room and not have to deal with much. Got another altar potion. I'm really liking these. So let's see if we can maybe remove a few of these very annoying curses. The extra damage one's the one that's really getting me right now. So let's heal back up to full health and hopefully be able to remove one of the good ones. 187 health, that's pretty expensive. Oh, increased critical strike damage, gotta get that one. Then we'll remove one and see what happens. Which one is it? Yeah, it was extra damage one, so we're good. Before we fight the boss, extra whatever that was. Then hopefully this idiot will die super fast. I'm just gonna, yeah, look at that damage. Hopefully I can do this before it puts out any torches, because that's the annoying part. That was easy. Enemies here will be a little harder, but thanks to my current perks, as long as I'm being halfway smart, I shouldn't take too much damage. Especially in rooms like this with the little guys that pop out of the ground. But again, this is one of those games where one bad room could really ruin everything. Look what I found. Increase health, swing damage, and attack speed. Well, if I had more health, I would get rid of more curses, but since I don't, let's make my attack size a little bigger. And maybe make healing a little more effective, because I'm going to need lots of that. And what else do we want? Increase chance to critical strike. And now Kurt's stash is only five curses away from opening, rewarding me with all all its stuff. Some very good stuff at the shop. Two, three curse removals actually, so that's pretty good. Only two curses left now. Plus, we could increase our throw size. Normally I would, but I need something different. Deal more swing damage at high health. Yes. Also, my swing size is this big now. Found the next shop almost right away. Definitely some curse removals here, so we're actually running out of curses super fast. Then we're gonna take a battle standard and Queen's Crown. Throw damage, swing size, swing speed. So that's getting a good amount of size now. Our damage right now, only 150, but that's with lots of attack speed and huge critical hits. Which looks something like that. Okay, one shot at one of the bigger guys, so that's a good feeling. Easy. Whoops. Both of these are have to do with my throw damage and stuff. I don't want to do throw stuff. What is this? Enemies hit with a thrown pickaxe explode on death. As amusing as that sounds, I need something better. Thrown pickaxes duplicate themselves. That sounds kind of helpful. I'll take it. Because I have ricochet and super fast throw speed, so that's going to be throwing phantom pickaxes everywhere. Not as much damage as my swing, obviously, but probably helpful for dangerous rooms like this, where I can just avoid the lasers and stay well out of the way. Hyperstone. Increase attack speed. I do need more attack speeds. No relics at the shop, but there is an item doubler and we're soon to open Kurt's stash so that's going to be a good one to hold on to and another altar potion we're finding probably too many of these this is going to get too easy after a while i guess attack speed and we'll just remove that very expensively i might add and attack speed i think this sound is actually bugging out when i swing now because it doesn't really know where to place the sounds compared to the swing another shrine so we'll take critical chance and finally let's just take a little more swing damage i was kind of hoping that opening Kurt's stash would give me some curse removals we did get a blessing for critical strike chance. That's through the roof right now. Uh, Mighty Hero increased throw range. I'm not even going to pick that up, honestly. So we're left with three curses, but that's not the end of the world, considering we can basically do this every room. I just saw my critical damage for the first time. 500. 500 damage. That's way higher than I thought it was going to be. Let's add another curse. Why not? They're not hurting me too bad yet. That's probably worth it, actually. Lots of keys, lots of bombs. King's Crown. Increase swing damage, throw size, throw speed, which is going to combine into the Emperor's Crown for more of everything. So, yep, cool. Here's another good one. Reduce throw damage and increase swing damage. I'm going to do that because I like my swing damage. Not really expecting a great challenge here. Yeah, that health is dropping quick. It's already retreating. Uh, we'll kill this little guy. And we'll go finish off this guy pretty much right now. Ow. Stop. Let me hit you and we're done. I guess my base swing damage is up to 260 already. Combine that with all the massive critical hits and that makes sense. And look what we found. Better late than never. Find more altar rooms. So now I get way, way more blessings. And also curses. What does this one do? Radiate heat? No thanks. We're taking Hoodie's pillow just to reduce physical damage. It's all I got. Another altar room. Ooh, nothing really going on there. We'll sacrifice 200 health just to get rid of a curse. And then we'll take swing speed and probably just heal through adventure so we get a little bit of health every room. And lost curses become blessings. I'm going to pick that up because things are starting to turn into hot cross buns. Next, I found this so late. I would have had way more blessings if I found that early on. Uh, another good test room. That died. Uh, big guy died right away. You died. Mm, pretty easy. Oh, I don't know if I can catch that guy in all the magma. I could probably hit him fast enough, but oh yeah, that's no problem. 
He's dead. We'll open a curse chest just because we can. What does this one do? Deal more throw damage. Uh, yeah, we'll start taking these at this point. I can just hold the mouse button now to attack. It goes at rapid speed. Pretty good job. Lots of keys for extra damage. I can remove curses, which is going to give me not one, but two random blessings. But also this potion, double the level of a random blessing. So it's going to take one of these, double it. So let's try and keep an eye on these ones right here in particular. I want one of those to double preferably. It wasn't one of those. I don't know what it was. It was one of the useless ones. Altar room. So we're just going to stack curses all the way to the end, I guess. I don't know what else to do at this point. We'll remove one curse, hopefully the three stack one, but we'll also get two blessings out of this anyway. So well, whatever, we'll take it. Another curse chest, more swing damage. Let me guess, hot cross buns? Don't even want one. All I really want now are curse removals. And keys. Keys will add damage too, I guess. But really, anything at this point is just extra because everything's dying super quick. And you know what? That's fine. I'm pretty glad I have the extra attack range too, because you're gonna get so close to this thing, it actually hits you pretty hard. But uh, I think I'm pretty well just gonna walk right through it. Yeah, that's this is gonna be it. Come back, and we're done. It was that easy. Because that thing's tough, like it really is, even with all this damage. It's it's got a lot of health. Well, that was fun. I can't wait to see what we come up with next time. Not sure what my critical chance was there. I wasn't paying attention to damage, but I feel like it was probably a lot of damage overall. 